we got Allison. Allison is calling in from Missouri. Allison, you are live on Truth Wanted. What's going on? Hello. Um, I'm just calling because I watch a lot of the shows, and people in chat were telling me to call about a an experience I had that I know wasn't paranormal, but at the time I thought it was, and I still can't explain it. Okay. All right. Lay it on us. Let's go. Okay. So when I was a teenager, I was sitting on a trampoline with some friends, and it was out. We lived out in the woods, so we were at like it was all woods all around us, and we saw this figure had to be at least nine feet tall. Step out of the tree line, stand there and look at us for a while, then turn around and walk back in the tree line. And it was too lengthy to be a bear, but it was too tall to be anything else. And it fit what I had in the idea of my head at the time of a werewolf, but I mm. don't know what it was, and I just I have no idea what that could have been. Slender Man yeah. is my guess, right? Man, man on stilts. That's I've right. got some stilts, and and when I wear them, I am nine feet tall. No Dude, life. I forgot that you can do no. that. Yeah, You're I do a man of many stuff. talents, John. Well, That's crazy. Okay. Anyway, sorry, Allison, go ahead. <laughs> so you think it was? Uh, sorry. So you think it was someone just in the woods messing with us? I mean, not Who's being said? there for the experience is yeah, yeah. It's difficult to say what you know. All we yeah. can go on is what you tell us. But if it wasn't yeah. a werewolf and it wasn't a giant bear, what could it have been? What what mm -hmm. could be some other just plausible explanations? You know, you're in a, in the woods, you're hanging out with your friends. Did other people know about it? Did they think, ha, huh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk on some stilts and freak these people out. Or, you know, when folks get together, they, they may be party in some ways and, you know, they maybe try some things and that yeah. can alter brain uh, chemistry and, and stuff. And so you start maybe filling gaps and seeing what could just be a tree moving is you, your brain says that's the shadow of a, a being that's standing there trying to eat us or something you know that what could be what could have been just one plausible explanation that you can come up with right now seeing as you were there at the time okay a positive explanation i've thought of is that we all had very active imaginations and we all sort of had some sort of mass hysteria event not so much hysteria but we all saw all of our imaginations saw something similar based off something else like the shadows or something you said yeah i think that's that's extremely reasonable um that that kind of thing plus like when you're goading each other i went on this did i tell this story i went on a haunted uh uh tour in new orleans a few years ago and they we stopped at this park where stuff was allegedly haunted and the tour guide was like yeah you guys should take pictures because uh you know you sometimes people get stuff on camera and uh people were taking pictures and they would go up to the tour guide and they're like look look i got an orb and stuff and the tour guide would be like oh yeah you know that's probably a ghost and stuff like absolutely just like <laughs> filling in people's gaps in their imaginations for stuff like sometimes when you're both like getting into that like that you can definitely hype each other up into thinking that something is happening when it's really not so that i i think that's definitely a plausible explanation for what's happening here right and 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 in those experiences as well one person may think they see something but and their friend may go oh yeah i saw that too because they just don't want to be left out yeah, yeah and if there's more than more than two of you the third person will really not want to be the only person that didn't see something so they'll also go oh yeah i i, I think i saw that too so, you know, people people are strange people, you know? It's true. It's very true. And <laughs> it could be, it's happened so long ago that the way I remember it is that we all saw it at the same time. But mm -hmm. that could just be my memory messing with me and someone saw it first and the rest of us saw it after that or something like yeah. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. There, there are tons of explanations for things. And, and sometimes it is good to just take a step back and go, huh, what could this have been? Uh, I spent a long time, a massive part of my life being terrified of the dark. Uh, and I couldn't be in a room without a light being on and going from room to room. Uh, I had to turn a light on, go back and turn the light off because I was just so uh, fearful of what was there. Uh, and slowly over time, I started, if I thought something had happened, I would just say, now, what could the, the most rational um, explanation for that be and I slowly got 
past the fear of, of being in the dark. So, you know, that, that it could be a similar uh, situation here where, you know, you, you had an experience and you've just thought about it more. Uh, and as you've gone on, it's just got worse and worse and worse. And you haven't uh, taken a step back and gone, how, what could the rational explanation for this be? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I will do that because that's how I, I was raised very strictly religious and that's how I broke from the faith was just what could the rational, what could logic say about this if I actually think about it? And, yeah. and there's, a, there's a lot to be said for people that you trust as well. Like, um, you know, I would have an experience of something and I would go to a, a, my mother at the time uh, because she was a person that I could talk to about these sorts of things. And she'd say, well, you know what that was? That was that you saw a ghost or you had a, 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 a supernatural experience. And because it's a person you trust, you go, oh, yeah, of course, that's what it was. So, you know, you're, you're well within your rights to, to believe what you believe because that's what you've been taught to believe. But it is a good idea to do do take the step back and, and just just have a little question. It's true. I think I think we got this case solved in the bag Whoa. here, John. What do you think? I think I think <laughs> we close. I think we Scooby Doo'd this thing. You need Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I think we got it down. Allison, are you satisfied with this call? Are you satisfied with these responses? Yes, I am. It was All right. very informative. Awesome. Great. Well, great talking to you, Allison. I wish you well. And uh, yeah, now hopefully maybe you got at least a little bit more peace on that. Cause I think we all have had experiences in our life where it's like, Absolutely. huh, what happened there? Huh? Uh, I had a friend who tells me a story about <laughs> or the story I've heard where they thought they, it was, it was early morning and it was really foggy out and they thought they saw like some sort of shambling monster in the fog and they ran away. And then they, and then I was like, what, what do you think it was now? I was like, it was probably just somebody with their dog. Yeah. <laughs> just right. like, like, yeah that oh, probably yeah. makes sense. Uh, yeah. So, you know, 